Hi everyone, it's Steph from Cuddlebuggery. I am going to showcase a few of the books that I got from BEA and a few of the books that the other reviewers are excited for. I do have a lot to show, so I'm going to try to be swift so this video doesn't run to like 30 minutes like the last video did, because this is a do-over. Which means that maybe I won't butcher people's names as much as I did the first time, but probably not. Also, I'm not going to read the descriptions because I have no idea what some of these books are about. I did at one point, but everything is like a big blur so um, I'm just gonna get started this one book um, I'm actually sending this to Kat because I think she will really enjoy it it's called if you could be mine by Sarah Farzan. Um and I'm sending her a bunch of books actually a lot of them are the books that I got from the Harkland um, high tea event but they're mostly cowboy romance novels so I'm gonna let her deal with those <laughs> Um, I'm sending Adrian a few copies that she had asked me to pick up for BA for her, and I'll start with those. Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wynn. Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, the sequel to The Darkest Minds, which she really, really loved. Kat really loved it too. They tell me I will love it, and I still have the book in my closet, and I just have not gotten to it yet. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And this one's about a girl who writes fan fiction. And I really am excited about it too. But first, I'm sending it to Adrienne. Because she really loved Eleanor and Park. And I have yet to read that one. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Um, she really loves Holly Black. So I'm super happy that I was able to um, get that for her. Those are the books that I'm sending to Adrienne. And um, so if you are excited about those books, please be on the lookout for her reviews. Also, sending to Archer is an adult title, Blood of the Lamb by Sam Cabot. This is pitched as uh, the historian meets the Da Vinci Code. And Archer and I both agree that we like the Da Vinci Code quite a bit, even though the world hates Dan Brown. <laughs> Whatever. We kind of still like him. So hopefully Archer will really enjoy that one um, and possibly review it on the blog. I'm also sending him... Project Kane um, by Jeffrey Geard. I think that's how he pronounces his name. Um, and this one is actually a double book because Project Kane is the Y version. And then on the back side is Kane's Blood. And I believe that he is going to do maybe like a joint review to showcase, um, like, a, a, a see how different, how they differ, both of the books. Um, also picked him up The Screaming Staircase, which is a middle grade title by Jonathan Strout. I heard it was good. I think it was originally published by Random House, but now it's re-releasing through Disney. That's what Goodreads says, so don't quote me on that. Um, it has, it's about magic and mystery, so I hope he enjoys those books because shipping to Australia is <laughs> it's painful. A few of the books that I was very interested in getting were Perfect Ruin by Lauren Stefano. I really loved her last series. Um, this one has a story behind it. It wasn't originally at BEA. It was at the Simon Teen Party, which I did not attend because it was on Tuesday and I was invited. However, I asked the, the rep, the Simon Schuster rep, if they had any copies. And the first day he told me no, and I was really sad. But he, then he said, hey, come back tomorrow and I might have a few. And I was like, well, I'm going to be back. I didn't think he was going to remember. But as soon as he saw me walking up to the booth the next day, he was like, I got you. And I was like, yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the wonderful Simon & Schuster rap, who I later found out was the vice president. Can't email that guy. He's more important things to think about than giving a reviewer a copy. Um, also, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I really love these ladies, and I was so excited to see uh, Megan again and to finally meet Amy since she lives in Australia. It was really good to meet you, Amy and Megan, again. Um, this is a sci-fi. It's pitched as a Titanic in space. Love the Titanic, and I really love sci-fi, so I can't wait to read this. Reality Boy by A.S. King. 
I heard she's an amazing author. I think this one is another contemporary of hers. I'm not entirely sure, but my best friend has read a few pages and she says so far this book is really amazing. So I'm excited to check it out. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. I really enjoyed Throne of Glass. Didn't love it, but still had a lot of fun and I enjoyed the last half a lot better than the first half. So I'm excited to see where this book is going. I know a lot of the other bloggers have started reading it already and are talking about it on Twitter. So everyone's fangirling. So I'm like, I need to be right there with you soon. Altered by Jennifer Albin. This is the sequel to Cruel, which I really loved and Kat did not. It's like one of those rare times where we disagree on a book. Shocking. I know. Things in the universe do go wrong sometimes. Um, I need to see what happens next and I happened to snag a signed copy and I really love Jennifer. She's super nice. Once We Were by Kat Zhang. This is another sequel to um, a book that I read and loved called What's Left of Me and it's about a girl who, who is she's she has one body but there are two souls inside her body loved that book the writing style is amazing and if you haven't read what's left of me you're dead to me like seriously dead that includes you cat no i take it back don't leave me, don't leave me. vicious by victoria schwab i really enjoyed the archive that was her um yeah uh, ya um book and really enjoyed her writing style i was excited when vicious was um the cover was revealed and they did not have any copies at BEA and I had to stay in a very long line to get it signed so very 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 excited about this one this is an adult title but I think it has crossover potential so I'll definitely be reviewing it for Cuddlebuggery I wish I could give it away afterwards but I did not realize I got it personalized and so I won't have to be giving it away because it's like weird giving away personalized books Scorched by Mari Mancusi. I think that is how she pronounces her name. Um, this is about dragons. Hello, dragons. I'm on it. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in this book. The cover is amazing. This comes out in September from Source Books. Entangled by Amy Rose Capita. Um, this is what this was a buzz book this year, and it was pitched as a YA uh, Firefly, and I love sci-fi, as I already said. This cover is not my favorite, but if you are really interested in reading this book, it's on NetGalley now. So go request it. How to Love by Katie Katuga, I think. Ooh, I'm so terrible at names. This is another contemporary um, that I'm not really sure what's it about, so I won't even go there. But thanks for damaging the book in the mail, United States Postal Service. Bitches. Um, Heartbeat by Elizabeth Scott. This one, I do know what it's about. I had a chance to talk to the author briefly at the Harkland Breakfast. It's about a girl whose mother is um, on life support, but she's also pregnant. The father wants to keep her alive long enough to deliver the baby, but the main character is really not feeling that situation. Sounds like a lot of anguish, and i um, really interested how the author pulls this one off. All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell. This one, I think, has time travel involved in it. I love books with time travel. The last time travel book I read was um, Tempest, which I didn't really like at all. So I'm hoping I like this one a lot better. I love the art cover much better than the the new cover, the real cover. I didn't like that. It was like, Disney, you dropped the ball here, buddy. What, what happened? Not good things. <laughs> Not good things. Pretenders by Lisey Harrison. This book is really cool. Um, like Kara said from Great Imaginations in her vlog, the pages are decorated and they're so different. They're really nice. I don't know what this one is about, but it's from Little Brown, I believe, coming out in October. Covet by Tracy Gravis Graves. I passed on this at BA, but 
when I went to the Penguin Bird Bash, it was included in the goodie bag. So I feel, figured it was fate since I passed it up the first time. I didn't read On the Island, but I wanted to, and now I have a chance to check out her second book. I think this is her second book. Um, so, I'm excited. False Sight by Dan Crocus, which I think I'm butchering your name, Dan, but I'm sorry. Also had an opportunity to get this one signed because I don't think Disney was handing these out. I met Dan too at the rooftop party which was interesting for various reasons involving alcohol. Hero by Aletha Contis. Um, this author is actually really cool. She writes children's books also. I didn't get a chance to be Enchanted and they didn't have any more copies left but um, I'm really interested in checking out her YA books. Counting by Sevens by Holly Sloan. This is a middle grade um, book. It's also contemporary. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but the editors and the Penguin reps were very, very excited. And they said it's amazing. Of course, they're going to say that. What are you going to say? It's bad, so I'll be the judge. This book also comes out in... It says August. So, I'll definitely be checking this one out. Kurt Sees and Conspiracies. Now, honestly, when this when I picked this up, I didn't realize it was a sequel. So, I will more than likely give it away to another blogger who had who's read the first one so that they can review it. Because I didn't realize it was a sequel. It's also steampunk, so don't hate me, but I don't really like steampunk. The Fantastic Family Whipple um, by Matthew Ward. This is another middle grade title from Penguin, their razor bill imprint, and it comes out in August. So not too much of a wait if you're really looking forward to this book. Um, it seems like a fun book, uh, so I'll probably check it out. The Cutting Room Floor by Dawn Keller. I think that's how she pronounces her last name. This is a, I think it's a mystery thriller. Um, I might send this one to Archer, but there's not enough room in your box, Archer, so another time, a little later. This one comes out in October, I believe, from Flux. And um, seems interesting. The Twins. I'm not going to bother pronouncing the author's name because I know I'm going to like totally murder it. So it's right there for you to read. And I'll also link it up below in, you know, the below the video, obviously. Um, it's a contemporary. I'm not sure if this is YA or if this is an adult title. But, um, yeah. The Paradox of Vertical Flight. This uh, is by Emil Ostrovsky. Oh, wow. That was totally wrong of me. Um, it comes out in October, I believe. Yeah. And this is about an 18-year-old and his ex-girlfriend and his best friend and a newborn baby. And they are off on some weird adventure to their grandmother's house. <laughs> it sounds weird, but I've been really looking forward to reading this one. The Twist Rose Key by Tone, and that's another last name that's going to get me in trouble So, with the English language, so I'm not going to even attempt. But this is a middle grade uh, fantasy with magic, so yay. Frozen by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston, which is her husband. And I didn't pick this one up myself either. It was at the Penguin Luncheon, and she was one of the authors there. So they gave us arcs. I heard her of this series wasn't the best, the Blue Bloods, but I'm going to try out Frozen and see if I like it. The Boy on the Porch by Sharon Creech. And this is another middle grade. I think it's coming from Harper. Yep, yeah. Harper in September, I believe. Yep, September. So, um, I'm not sure what this is about, obviously. I said that in the beginning. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. I'm not sure what this is about. I'm like a broken record. Oh my God. Tell me to shut up. I will. I will. The Color of Rain by Corey McCarthy. I heard this one was really good. It's a sci-fi. Um, this is actually a finished copy. It's already out from 
I don't know who this is from. RP Teens. Running press. Duh. Wow. I had a moment. Uh, there's another. All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry. This is a contemporary thriller coming from Penguin in September. Heard this one was really, really good. Tandem by Anna Jarzab. This was another buzz book at BEA, and the rep, the editor, did a really terrible job of explaining to what it's about. Everyone in the room was confused. We were going like, huh? Like, what, it, what is it? Um, but um, I'm, I'm excited. It's coming from Random House in October, and this, this author actually works for Penguin, but her book is coming out from Random House, which is interesting. We didn't understand what was going on at the penguin breakfast at the luncheon because she was there and so was her books and we were confused and then we realized she worked for penguin and we were like oh okay marie antoinette serial killer by katie allender Ugh, i don't even know but look she's got blood on her face so and a knife let them bitches eat cake so i'm gonna read this i'm gonna read this i'm gonna read this the Return by Jason Mott. This one is actually already um, optioned, and I think they filmed the pilot already for uh, one of the TV networks. It's an adult title coming from Harkland. This is their big title for the season, and it's about a boy who dies, and he comes back mysteriously. So definitely really interested in reading that one. Half Bad by Sally Green. This one doesn't even have a description on the back. However, it lets us know that the movie rights are already optioned by Fox and that the rights are sold in 15 countries. When I read the um, letter from the VP in the front, he mentioned that it's about like witches or something. So this seems like it's going to be one of their big titles. So this is the manus This is the original manuscript. Um, so maybe this is not going to be the galleys that they're going to give out later. So look out for this. Maybe it's good. We can all squeal about it together. Find Me by Romley Bernard. Kara convinced me to pick this one up because she says that it, you know, um, another reviewer really loved it, a reviewer that we trust. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, I must have it. So got a chance to meet the author too because they were only only giving out the signed books and she was really really sweet and the book came with a really cool slap um, band wrist wristband thing that I almost poked my eye out with <laughs> it was a weird moment for me I have a lot of those not every prince is charming I see what you did there orbit so this is an adult title and it's Feels like an urban fantasy, and this cover is awful with his little fake sword. That sword's so fake. How many Giuseppe Cock can game up on these covers? They're awful. The Very Nearly Honorable League of Pirates by Carolyn Carlson. I really love this cover, guys. Look, it's a little pirate, and she looks like Cat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Cat. It doesn't look like you. Not really. Only a little with that braid, you know. If you had a braid, it would be you. Like Keira Knightley, the other part of you. It's a middle grade book that I must have read. I must read it soon. Um, the Creature Department by Robert Paul Weston. This is another middle grade title, and it has a really cool interactive cover online with the little bat and he moves and stuff. And um, not really sure what it's about, though. Parasite by Mary Grant. I have not read Feed yet. I am shameful, I know. Um, but I'm really excited about this one because it has to do with like a, a lot of uh, immune system and medical things. And I'm into that kind of stuff. So. Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. Um, this is again another author whose books I have not read but have heard amazing things by. And I actually own Mistborn but haven't read it yet. He was doing a signing and Christina was so kind to get me a ticket so that I can get one of his books because Brando House was another publisher that was really terrible with galleys this year. 
Um, so the only way to get a book was to go to his signing. So I'm really excited to see what it's about. This is the author, one of the author's first um, YA titles. Gorgeous by Paul Rutnick. This is a funny book, guys. <laughs> Christina read some of this to us while we were waiting in Paul, uh, Port Authority in New York. And it's, it's funny. You just have to trust me on this. It's actually already out. So if you're interested, go check it out and read it. And then let me know what you think. Just Like Fate by Cat Patrick and Suzanne Young. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what this one is about. I did it again. I said it again. Like, uh, shoot me. Um, I think it's contemporary. I'm trying to wrap this up. This is kind of getting long. Rags and Bones. Um, this is an anthology with works from Neil Gaiman, Gene Wolfe, and Carrie Ryan, who is a soul... Um, uh, she's responsible for some nightmares with the fours of hands and teeth like why did you do this to me Carrie why I'm still crying at that ending but she writes amazing books and it's edited by Melissa Marr and Tim Pratt so I need to read this Unbreakable by Cami Garcia I'm gonna be honest and say I was not in love with beautiful creatures however I really, really wanted to check this one out because it has an interesting premise. I'm not going to talk about it now since I am over 20 minutes long and you're still here, you trooper. Gold star. The 100 by Cass Morgan. And this one is kind of dystopian, kind of sci-fi. It says it's already being developed by the CW. Mm, well, okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's anything to brag about, but I mean, whatever. CW, you butcher shows. Um, this one feels a lot of uh, Hunger Gameish to me because it's about kids being blasted off into space onto some suicide mission. I guess the odds are not going to be in their favor. <laughs> Also, one book that I really, really was excited to get, had a hunch it was going to be at the McMillan party. I knew it was going to be there. I knew it. And I was right, because The Winner's Curse by Marie Rodokotsky was there, and this was the Bound Manuscript. And they're probably going to be arcs, obviously. This is not the arc. But I just wanted to talk about this book really quick, because it is a book that needs to be on your radar. Me and Kat love this book, and it is just amazing. And in the beginning of this manuscript, you will see a little blurb from yours truly and Kat. Because we love it, and you guys need to read it when it comes out next year. This needs to be on the top of your list, and we really hope you like it as much as we did. It just gave me all the feels. All the feels. So um, that is basically, in a nutshell, the books that I was most excited to get at BEA. I did get a few other things, but a lot of them are finished copies, adult titles, so you don't really need to know about those. They're, all, they're books that are already out, like Rochelle Mead's books, they're already out, and some Harlequin books like Dare to You and um, Pushing the Limits and The Eternity Cure and The Immortal Rules. Harlequin was really nice enough to give the bloggers finished copies at the breakfast. Thank you, Harlequin. Um, but that's it. I'm amazed that you made it this far on this vlog. That will probably never, ever happen again because it just took way too much effort. I have a lot of respect for vloggers. Vlog, vlog, whatever. I mean, why did I even say vlog? It's like you're trying to merge two words together. We can't just vlog. No? Okay. I'm going to go now before I embarrass myself further and lose tons of cool points that I've worked hard to acquire. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.